प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू यू आई पाथ एक्सपो हब चैनल एंड हिट द बेल आईकॉन बी द फर्स्ट पर्सन टू वॉच द लेटेस्ट ऑटोमेशन वीडियो हेलो फ्रेंड्स नाउ वी आर इन टू द नेक्स्ट चैप्टर वेर वी आर गोइंग टू सी द वेरिएबल डॉट लेंथ ओके हाउ डू यूटिलाइज दिस ओके दिस लुक्स मे बी स्लाइटली कॉम्प्लिकेटेड फॉर यू बट अगेन आई एम गोइंग टू मेक इट very simple as always so let's get started okay what is the use of it and when to use the dot length substring dot length methods okay so let's get started now uh, you have seen in the previous chapter i am trying to fetch um this is the entire pdf document name okay out of that document because tomorrow if there is another new document only thing will happen is it will just change so tomorrow's date is 28 let's say or 29 is simply will say 29 30 31 then it will change 09 01 02 so only this portion of your file name is changing the rest of it remain same so there will be requirements for you to only pull this particular number right so let's see how we can utilize a different technique called dot length okay how can i utilize that and fetch this number i am going to show you so as you have already seen or people who are new to this what i am doing i am just reading the text file where i have stored that file name it could be a text file it could be uh, you are reading the file uh, directory name it could be anything so there is a input and finally you are storing that entire name into a variable let's say okay so this is the variable so in my case my variable is a sentence okay my data is a complete sentence the file name is so and so again again the technique remains same doesn't matter all you have to know is the concept so i am taking this as my input string okay so now here what i am going to do i am going to teach you the technique so let me show you how the dot length works first okay that's where you will understand so my input so variable is input variable okay after that i am saying dot substring simple and then in the bracket i have to understand the length of it okay so what i'm going to do again i'll be writing the same variable name input variable uh, pay close attention uh, probably the spelling of a variable that you are writing is exactly the same because it's not popping up uh, so input variable dot length so what is happening it is going to calculate the entire length of your input variable so whatever your string what is its length then i am saying minus 3 So when I say minus three, what happens? It will just calculate the last three uh, things of the entire sentence. So let me run it first, and I'm going to show that output in the message box. That's where you will understand. So when I do last three, what is happening? If you recall, this is my sentence. So last three is F D P D F, right? So these are the last three. So it's only showing us the output last. Three PDF. Okay. What if I want the entire one? Then I have to count one. So you have to start. You should not count from because we are not using index. So you should not start your count from zero. Here you have to start the count normal one, two, three like that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So it looks like there are twelve characters. So what I am going to do here instead of me saying minus 3 i will say minus 12 click on okay okay simply i'm changing that so so now if i run this it's go it's supposed to show me the entire pdf but here is the uh, catch what i have to, so you can see 2020 0827 the entire thing has come now you will ask me rakesh i do not want the dot pdf because i want only the number okay okay so how do you extend this code right so what you do this is your output right so here if you put a dot so whatever before that becomes the input for this so i am going to hit on split so i am going to write split okay so the entire whatever the output has come dot dot uh, that entire number dot pdf becomes the input dot split i am going to split that and how i want to split in the double quote i am saying dot because it has a dot right dot pdf so i'm putting dot and here as per the syntax you have to see write c which is the stands for character so what would happen the entire number now so it is in the first uh, quote that we have written is pulling the entire thing right now it is you where is the dot it is going to split that into now it will be two parts right so this is one part this is second part now which part you want you want the first part 
So first part is noted by the index number 0. So all you have to do here outside, outside of it you all have to do is double quote put a 0. So when you look at the code completely you will be like wow what is this code what is this all about but again if you understand bit by bit it is very simple isn't it. So when I click on ok and try to run it you will see the exact output you wanted. So I want the only the numbers right only the name you got it. So this is how guys you have you can also utilize the substring dot length method okay substring length method can be utilized i hope you are learning a lot of it uh, the vv.net one i'm going to come up with a lot of things you know bite by bite so that you can digest it you can practice it uh, it will be easy for you to recall remember um, okay also let us know what are the questions you have anything specific in vv.net that you would like to learn you would like to have an idea on so i am going to build those topics for you all right thank you guys for connecting with us as as i always request uh, for all the hard work that we do one thing that we want in return is a like a beautiful comment from you guys any questions you have any comments you have you guys can do that thank you very much for your, all your support you guys have a great day thank you bye bye